Before I begin this video, a quick shout out to the Real Roblox Re Reaper for helping with this video and Bage the Baguette. Before we start off with the actual video, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks and what bees you should use for the ant challenge. So let's get into it. The Vicious Bee's Impale ability can spear multiple different ants, taking them out, or it's good for a singular um, enemy, such as a giant ant, which has a lot of health, which can be tricky. The Windy Bee's Tornado ability is good for crowds of enemies, as it deals constant damage, with its tornado spreading out, and is good for bunched up ants that are all together to take them out. The Spicy Bee's Inferno ability is good because it spawns flames which can damage enemies but also it spawns f two fire bees which can spawn flames to attack enemies and also it has a base damage of 5 which is pretty good compared to some other bees. Now Lion Bee is good because it has 8 base damage which is the best out of all bees and preferably you should get it gifted because it has plus two colorless bee attack for the gifted hive bonus. Some other mentions go to gifted rage bee and brave bee because they have plus one attack damage for the gifted hive bonus. Bees with bombs, bomb plus specifically, can help collect pollen fast enough. And photon bee, crimson, cobalt, that stuff, they're also good for pollen collecting because it isn't just about the attacking because you could come across a really high um, amount of pollen that you need to collect to fill up the ant meter so it's ki kind of useful. Out of the tier 2 mask, the demon mask is the best one to wear while doing the ant challenge and also its X flame ability can, has such a large span it could damage lots of multiple enemies. Out of the tier 1 mask, fire mask is the best as it has an ability very similar to Spicy Bee's Inferno ability. Some other quick notes, pause the video if you want to read them. And now getting into the actual video, here is the real Roblox Reaper helping me out doing it. So what you're going to want to do is put a super smoothie in your hotbar ready to use. Get jelly beans in your hotbar too. Go to Dandelion Field, get a friend to help you. And what you do is you throw the jelly beans and get your friend to collect them. But, um, so you throw them like this, wait for the, all of them to go. And once they're all done, your friend collects them up. You get the sharing buff and also all the jelly bean buffs. Then you hop into the ant challenge, place down a sprinkler when you first get in, activate your coconuts and then Activate a super smoothie, and now you just start grinding it up. So, the first few waves are pretty easy because the ants have low health and it's not that hard to fill up the meter, so you don't really need to worry about it. And the fire ants die before they can spread to the rest of the field, so just stay in the middle, dodge the attacks, and if you have a coconut shield, make sure to activate it, but maybe activate it later in it when there's a bigger enemy. My score to beat is 391, which I got using these tactics. It was like 50 better than my previous score. So using these tactics, I got 50 more score. So hopefully we can beat that today, possibly even get 400. But look, in one minute, we've got about 100 points. <laughs>
focus like I have here a bit. Uh, come on, we're doing so good, we can't die now. Okay, we've got to jump to here, but see, level 16 Gina, it's pretty tough. But I mean, some of my bees are actually level 16, so I don't struggle that much against it. But also, high bee levels is an important factor of the ant challenge. Because uh, now I'm getting level 16s, which is a bit hard for me, seeing as my hive is level 15, so there's quite a few misses. And when we could die. Oh, 403, that's 12 more than my previous score. Let's go. So, so as you can see, this tactic works really good. I got 12 more than my previous score, and that was earned by Honey Day too, the Honey Day buff. So if you have that Honey Day buff on, it's important to do an ant challenge because it can get you good scores. But my previous score was earned with a Honey Day buff, so it was going to be pretty hard to beat. But 391, if you like, that was getting 391, I got two times what I would have gotten. So I probably wouldn't would have got like 300 score. So basically, I did like two times I'm doing two times better at the ant challenge using this strategy if my maths is right but anyways guys that is it for the video